we out here to eat tree frogs? Yes, we are. Hopefully. Um, so I spent about half an hour trying to get... Hold on a minute. I can already see a problem. Hey, there we go. That should be it now. Um, am I still echoing? Yeah, okay, good. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, that was stressful. All my audio, because I'm trying to use my normal headphones instead of using different headphones to try and hear the PS3 at the same time as everything but anyway everything was going through one audio device I don't know it was weird it's kind of badly set up but I believe it should work I also need to turn myself up a tiny bit I think that's up a bit there might be a bit of crackling. Uh, I don't know. I'm not hearing any crackling on my end. Uh, it's something I usually hear when audio is low, so it might be me. Uh, well, let's try if I can change the channel onto PS3. And if I do, oh, you hear that? It's probably loud. Beep. Okay. So here we are. Uh, Right, how does that sound? It should be okay. Okay. So, I control the sound <laughs> from my mixer instead of OBS, which is awkward because if it's too loud for me, I might turn it down, but it wouldn't be loud enough for you. So I've had to do all kinds of dumb things. Ah, that was kind of loud. But, I don't know. Anyway, let's actually start doing something. Uh, here we go. Oh, God. It'd be good if they made technology a bit simpler, you know. Never meant to be easy. Is this the Monkey Ball Extreme Edition? Yes. I don't know if the monkeys are in this one. They're on the subsistence disc. Okay. Hideo Kojima game, by the way. Uh, 1v1. 1v1 me on monkey ball pool. Oh no. I'm never playing that. What's in here? Photo album? Okay. All my other stuff is on the old hard drive, which is sitting right next to me. My dead PS3 is on the floor, ready to be destroyed. Um, what am I doing? Play Metal Gear. Okay, you go. <laughs> I 
maybe. Uh, which which one? You can pick. I forget what each one does. I know that one gives you something fancy. I don't know what that one does. Oh wait, it's difficulty level, isn't it? Oh no. Well, I should just ask which <laughs> which difficulty. Uh, not European extreme, please. <laughs> Probably better just to do normal. Hmm. This one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have a D6? Euro Truck Extreme? Okay, we're going normal. Uh, <laughs> and I believe it's. <gasps> After the end of World War II, the world was split into two East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. The war. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cav okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Does it sound good, by the way? Not too loud? That's really loud for me. Pressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Your wings and fly. God be with you. He 
He's so cool. Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. The virtuous mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. Seeds will be officially organized into a unit. The virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. Well, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. The mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962. President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to... But in order to... But in order to pull their missiles out, make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? What? <laughs> no. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete. We were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return to Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. We'd either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital, handed him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, he's on the verge of completion. 
So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No, missile. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi-palatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. Hmm, the Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the West. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours home in time for dinner but if anything goes wrong you'll be eating dinner breakfast and all the rest of your meals in the jungle Do you copy? 
You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? Well, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? Well, you've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I liked snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. You can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. <laughs> well, that was a... I forgot how long that intro was. Well, wow. Okay, now we can catch up here. Quite a big history lesson. Yes. Connection issue. Yeah, that connection thing, I think I kicked something at the back of my uh, setup. And it did something. So I'll uh, make sure not to do that. Uh, how loud is the game? Can you hear everything that's happening? Oh no. Yeah. Phone recovery system. Dimensional. Okay. Oh, okay. Can you hear all the noises in the background? Like the... I don't know, the squealing of animals. Because it's not showing up on my... thing. So I'm not entirely sure what you can and can't hear. Hopefully, it's... Cricket things are clipping on the low. Turn that up. Okay. I may have to add... some of this stuff. Right. I'll try... Oops. I'll try that. Hmm. We're almost there. Okay, that should be loud enough. Hmm. Uh, oh, no. oh wait, no, I can't. Oh God. Hopefully no explosions. The, uh, 
Yeah, there will be. Um. Trying to figure out how the compressor works again. Because I can... Wait, if I do that... I don't know. That thing is going mad in the background. Wait, how's this looking? Alright. We'll see how that goes. It should be okay. See you over there. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. Ah. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily wastes. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and US government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It will send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. 
The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years is it then? Boss? That's right. It's me. Oh. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why, but you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. 
The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. <sighs> yeah, you realize how autistic Snake really is. Hmm. I mean, it's likely. With the way he is. I should know. Uh, right. Let's get rid of some stuff. Uh. Okay. What we got? Does that do again? Natural life recovery. Is that one? It's this one. Battery drains. Uh, I'll just go with that. Oops. Okay. I feel like I should turn this up and turn the compressor up as well to try and fix the audio. I don't know. I'll need to test it. But hopefully it's not too bad. As long as I'm making some kind of noise. Uh, should be fine. I don't know. See. Oh no. Where is it? It's supposed to be stuff grenade. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Don't want to touch the bees. What's that? Oh, hello. So let's see. I got a bud, don't know. There's a magpie. Ah. Time I managed to get it to his neck and survive, but it takes a while. Uh, oh, I thought that was another path. This no. Okay. Let's see what's over here. spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle, either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay. Oh, that was my my right ear likes that. Hello, sir. Okay. Apparently the pressure thing didn't work. I keep forgetting how much of a tutorial this game has. Yeah. The whole first 
mission is a tutorial. Huh? Who's there? Okay. <laughs> He's not supposed to hear me, but you Using that. Oh, God. Snake, do you read? Snake! Major. Snake, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. You're far from okay. Look at your life gauge. You're on your last leg. No, I can still. <laughs> See? Snake, this is a solo sneaking mission. Do you know what that means? Yeah. No, you don't. Huh? <laughs> it means there's no backup. No cavalry. If you're taken out, nobody is there to take your place. Pull out for now and recuperate. Find a hiding place and get some rest. Your life gauge will gradually recover with time. But the speed of your life gauge recovery depends on the level of your stamina gauge. So get plenty to eat, then get some rest. You hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you. So I was using that as uh, a test for my son. Uh, it seems like it's way too loud. The problem is the quiet things are too quiet and the loud things are too loud. Um, uh, I don't know. I think it's just the way I'm doing my audio. If I put that to four, do that. Try that. Didn't seem too loud. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm trying not to clip it on each end so that the sound doesn't drop off when it's too quiet. And then explosions blast your face off. So, I don't know. Also, I can't reload because I didn't save before doing this. Painfully loud. Okay. Uh, okay. That. Nope. It's dropping off again. Come on. 
Tak, a ten. It's late for me, I can find it. Well, I don't know. I just don't want it to start getting too quiet. And then you can't hear anything. I don't know. It's fine for me. Also, can I? Oh, come on. The enemy is close by. <laughs> this, there we go. Oh, I forgot how... I don't know. Stiff the controls are. It's on an old controller as well, so... Oh, hello. Stop. Is there anything in there? Ooh. I always forget. Come on. There you go. Thermal goggles? Oh. I forgot these were here. I usually just rush through without all the equipment. Because I'm stupid. Uh, should probably change my camel. Did he know what? No. Okay. Oh no. That was such an evil smile. <laughs> oh well. What is it? What is Actually, run off. And oh. Okay. A silent rifle. Well, has the ability to be silent. Bug juice. Mm. Might need it at some point. Oh, okay.
another one. Just keeps going, and going. <laughs> that, that bud or Major, animal. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. Can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Mm -hmm. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. The northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. No one. Mm. That doesn't sound good. Shogun. Okay. Come on. Wait, someone's right there. Just my imagination. Must have been the wind. Yeah, it's like you get two needles hanging out of his leg. Oh, just, just my imagination. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd be screaming if a needle would just hit my leg. Painful. Well, maybe. You 
You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Volgin's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Ooh. Thunderbolt? I never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Jesus. Why... Why do you send me that? Oh. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. And the soldiers outside. Don't you fucking question mark me. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process. So it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Wait, what? Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Oh. Having second thoughts. Oh. No. <laughs> this is a meaty slap. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Go. <laughs> Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there.
He's trying to be some kind of wizard or something. Oh, how much of a nerd he is. unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? <laughs> He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Don't do it, don't. Is he gonna do it? Sokolov is okay. ours. Now get out of here. An ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Cat boy, <laughs> yeah. Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> he moderates a disco. You're not the boss. Yeah. <laughs> then die.
You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> What enemy is this again? <laughs> really is just enemy. We're all pretty bad at this whole having guns and shooting thing. Mm. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you alright? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov too. Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Revolver, revolver also look. Yeah. Snake was definitely the one to turn him into who he is. Or was. And will be. Yeah. Mouse trap, of course. From cat boy to cat man. <laughs> Mm. Oh well, that's that. Okay, now to find off, find off, what? find where Sokolov ran off to. Which I will assume is this way. It'd be good to see this game in the uh, the Fox engine, the um, Metal Gear Solid Five engine. Cause I, I don't know what this one is, but the Fox engine's quite nice. The the only remaster we got was a pachinko machine, <laughs> so who knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been drinking machine. You okay? Terrible. Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm I'm down. Finished. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's grew in the minions. Why? Yes, the Shagohod, the treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain. Oh yes, and without support from friendly units, a nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Metal Gear. <laughs> Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. World War. I have 
had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov, comes with me. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara, Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogel. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, 
This one is still just a child, too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Seen my face. You can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <sighs> Jack, you can't come with us. Are we done here? Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone, and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. 
They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the enter button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Snake learning to swim the hard way, yes. Also, what what was that? <laughs> Sending me things. <laughs> uh. Just felt I might need it. <laughs> of course. And here we go. Man is a walking doctor's office. <laughs> yeah. He really is. Infinite ammo. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? <laughs> yeah, we really want to. already happen no I think this is it yeah how, how do how do put bullet in gun mm -hmm. how do guns work Oh no. Excellent. A great success. 
Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. Catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. A kiss of death. You KGB. We may be able to use her. Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> the Alamo. Colonel! That's what happened to Snake. Mm. I'm just remembering what that nuke does to him. Turns him into a ghoul and he has to hide in the fridge until it all dies down. <laughs> Makes me want to just. <laughs> uh. tree frog it's so deep that 
flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace, arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. <laughs> So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Mm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKD-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, 
and I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a group colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgin. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice.
Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's rank. I've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. 
Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Hmm. Well, that's that. Oh no. I seem to have broken my chat. That's. There we go. Okay, so what's this? Uh, Kaz voice actor. Yeah, starting with that, I googled it and it, it was him, but it's not Kaz. It's just Soldier. Uh, Fox Die, Pair of Eyes, Major L. Yeah. <laughs> the big old pair. Go grab your pizza before it burns the entire house down. Okay, uh, what we got? Where'd my tranquilizer go? Don't seem to have it. I wish I knew how to pronounce these names. over here. Anything I can grab? Grab? Uh. Nope. 
What is that? That's a frog. Hello. <gasps> Do we get a mount? I think I see the horse on the radar. Maybe. Wait. The horse is there. <laughs> Can you even hear it? Okay. I can change that. Okay, let's go see the horse. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss! That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well.
Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians, that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Just don't get caught, forehead. Um. They are right next to me. Uh, wait a minute. This one. <gasps> What's this? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. To patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. It's a scripted alert, thank you. Oh wow, 95. No. Don't even look at me. Okay. Who's that? Who's that? Well, you know, it happens. Wasn't too bad. Oh, still coming. It was a clean escape at the very least. Um, but they're still around somewhere. Hmm. 
there's a guy over there. I can't even get the bees. Did I have... Got stun grenades. Put them back on. Oh, there's not much I can do. Come on. <laughs> oh well. down cliffs you won't take any damage speak let go of me Tactic of only using the brick pattern and American flag face paint. What? So, like, I have the actual brick, but I have no clue what that even means. What? Does that give you, I don't know, 100 or something? A skilled way to play the game. I doubt that. Don't look at me, thank you. Your friends over there, go get. Them. Okay. Now, where is that branch? Why? Who was that? Huh? You can't Something get there? me. You can't, you can't get me. You're never gonna get me, sir. I must be seen. Something there? Nope. <laughs> I'm a snake. <laughs> How did that work? Oh wow, I've been playing the game wrong though, this whole time. I suppose that's the point, isn't it? Just be a snake. <laughs> I'm surprised that actually worked. Okay, where did you come from? I see him when I look down. Oh well. Never mind. He's down anyway. What's this? Oh, okay. Same place again. It's an awkward changing of angle, I think. 
change the angle channel. Raindrop. Effective in the rain. That's why I like these games. They get so many random things you can do. Um. <laughs> yeah. I made Snake do the vom. Okay. Ah, yes. Good old Icky. <coughs> now, these things, the gecko, or rather, Kero. Yeah. Gecko's the camouflage you get for shooting them. Uh, I am not shooting these things ever again. I did it once. Uh, and it was depressing because there's 64 of them, I think. And uh, yeah, no, not doing that again. The rewards, good though, but I'm not doing all of that on stream. Box, okay. What's the reward? Uh, it's. I thought it was the gecko camo, which is just a, a white camo with ducks all over it or something. But that's not it. It's the. What's it called? Stealth camouflage. So you can go invisible. Um, it's a good reward, but. Yeah. I've done it once. <laughs> Zombie. I don't know, it's not really worth the time and effort. Well, it is, but not to me. Zombie. Hmm. Um because it involves some stupid shots that you need to make. Wait. Okay. Snake keep his makeup on during cutscenes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll just uh, go ahead and do that before you ask. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Good enough. Oh, that 
but give me that. What is that? OS frog. Permanent. Okay. I've never seen those before. Uh. <gasps> A mine detector. Uh. Okay. Good to hear from you again. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? Four days, actually. Huh? I visited you in the hospital. You were still unconscious, though. Mm, uh, then you must have seen me naked. <laughs> yeah, but you were all wrapped up in bandages and tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. But seriously, don't forget okay. that you were like that until just yesterday. In fact, you really shouldn't even be on this mission. Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. If you start to run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get yourself hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten by a venomous animal, go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself using cure. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. <laughs> you're welcome. And I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. Maybe so. By the way, I heard you're going to lose your medical license if this mission fails. Yes, there was talk of that, but the mission won't fail, will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. But you know what? I really don't care about my medical license. Didn't they use that to force you to participate in this operation? No, I volunteered. Why? So that I could watch over you. Huh. Snake, you're the best agent I've ever seen. But you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble to make sure you and the boss don't kill each other. So that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. <laughs> you hear that? That made me laugh, because it's probably true. Um. Uh. Oh no, overwrite the level. Uh. What time is it? It is 18.42, good year. I don't even know what happened in 18.42. Okay, good luck, Snake. Dinosaurs? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to Sigint. Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Ah. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. <laughs> I always liked him. He's pretty good. Uh. <laughs> of course, you laugh at my jokes. I'm a genius. Okay, you, you can calm down now. Uh. So let's put something on. It's probably cold out here. Wheel. <laughs> Wheel yourself. <laughs> oh well. I didn't do anything. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Sorry I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! this pop right out. <laughs> it really is like a spy film this. <laughs> Come on Snake. Calm down. I'm not pressing our one. <laughs> so there's a mini yet. Oh okay. Snake. He's on the this spectrum somewhere. What happened to Adam? So he explains it. What's your code name? Right. Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? <laughs> what happened to Adam? <laughs> Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Lousy military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Mm. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. <sighs> Sneak a racist. <laughs> 45, huh? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. The long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shadowhawk. Where? At the lab. 
They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. <laughs> Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. <laughs> it's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information, nothing more. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. Mm. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. <laughs> uh. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. I think that nuke did affect him and uh, increase his level of, uh, you know, autism. Could you mind telling the player not to play his game? <laughs> yeah. Nintendo does that as well. Like, every five minutes. You've been playing this game for a while. Can you not do that? Boom. Mm. You're going to say, oh no, autism. Because he is definitely up there somewhere. It's pretty much on my level. Well, I think he's above my level. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I'm not a snake. Sneaky spy noises. No one can go that high. <laughs> what was that noise? Is it, oh. Ooh. 
What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. Come on, man. Just about to sneak at this point. I'm just trying to play a game. We can use this to get to the basement. Oh, there he is. Damn it! That's a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. So we jump straight in there. Was that at the moment is it just known as pistol ocelot? Yes, what was I say yes to that? Uh, um okay. Weapons lab. Okay. What does this do? O2 gauge. Uh, and that one. Grip gauge. Yeah, the good old uh, <laughs> this one. Let's use that. And oops. Uh Squares, I suppose. <laughs> Cardboard box, yeah. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, hello. What? Did we lose him? Huh? Huh? What? what? Not here? <laughs> He's not here? What? Keep looking. Boom! One over there. I see. Nothing here. Is there a vent at the back here? Yes. Wait. Whoa. Come down.
There we go, that's another two. There's a quicker way to switch caramel. Where's the rest of them? Two left, but... Where? Huh. Last one's over there, I think. to sneeze there. Um. <clears throat> right. What is this? Oh. What is it? Do a sea jump. Just shoot through the, the vent or the hole in the wall. Come on. Uh, just my imagination. There we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> A real hero. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? Bruh. This bitch is wearing perfume. <laughs> She's in Game of Thrones now. Stay oh, where no. you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? <laughs> well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. 
Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Diaper. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he was doing some awkward run, so it's possible. This game is amazing. It's so over the top. <sighs> I like the way he stands. It's like a T Rex. Or just a dinosaur in general. Yeah. Also, I need to empty this gun. So I emptied that because I now have magazines. How's that? Just realised Snake's hips don't move when he runs. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. He's a very stationary lad. They move a tiny bit when he walks like that. And that very slightly. But that, no. Not much. And a smaller bag that's moving. But I was gonna do something. Oh yeah. some more magazines. I think that's all I have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably need that at some point. I haven't used this bug juice yet. What's it for? Walnuts and leeches. Hmm. I'll probably need that. If I remember. I guess the swamp. Hmm. Wait, 
Was that it? Yeah, it was. It was a snake. Yeah. Hello, snake. Okay. There's another one. Anything over here? No. Where you can get the croc mask, yes. And oh no, oh no, there's a crocodile next to me. There is, it's on me. never happened to me before. Huh. Well, I should really take out the crocodiles then. Or at least uh, put them to sleep. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Fancy. sit and listen to that all the time. Um, new outfit? No. No. trouble. No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? 
betraying your country like that. I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking, until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment and by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America, but it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth, then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying, too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. You know what to use to kill that? get croc meat? Yes. I'm trying not to kill anything though. Um. Trying to just do a pacifist run for the best scope. Didn't mean to do that, but... Should do it out the 
water. Okay. So another leech. Uh, eat that. Disgusting. <laughs> mhm. Mm oh, don't have any suppressors for that. That's okay. There we go. The only item you live in need. this trap. Oh, it's that. Hmm. Okay. Well, my gun's too loud. So, I'll use the backup. Wait, then really not have... Okay. Hmm. That's fine. I'm not sure if it works in cutscenes, but I will try. Feed the dog. What's the break in this thing? Don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feed it a claymore. That's not safe. I think this went into the void.
Where's that go? Hmm. Well, now I know it works. Well, there it is. No, 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 no. Huh? Okay. What's that sound? Nothing. There's nothing here. Yeah. Who restarts this patrol? This is awkward. Can you not come over here? Okay. He was really pushing it. this camo do? <laughs> Give me a kissy. Hmm. Yeah, split. Okay. It's another one. You done? Okay. Please tell me this is okay. I must be fleeing here. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Can I have to use that? It's an awkward place. I'm gonna have to change halfway through. Oh, right. Hmm. Okay. Oop, wrong one. This one. Hmm. 
so I may get some dialogue. But don't know. Huh? What was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Really? Nothing here. Huh? What was that noise? Huh? Huh? What was that? <laughs> uh. Nothing here. Nothing here. Well. Who's that? <laughs> okay. Get away from me. There you go. I'm sure there was another way on the left side, but... Oh, they're shooting at me. Okay. Instant knockout. <laughs> wow. Okay. That didn't really go as planned. Because I had no suppressor. Which is okay. Oh. I see. Please don't. This is HQ. The intruder going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. That was awkward. Oh, well, that's even more awkward. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Guess I've seen things. Exactly. I'm just gonna wait. Look at him go. <laughs> These people have some form of eye issue. Yeah, every I just keep seeing things all the time. Hallucinating and yeah. It's these these crocodiles. 
Wait, are they back on caution? Oh, come on. Never mind. I'm getting out of here. I just saw him. Didn't realize there was a guy though. Oh, we're going loud. This is HQ. <laughs> Must have eaten one. I'm not much better. Yep. It's been a long time since I've played this. Now you've made me taste bitter defeat. Uh. I can snake take him seriously. Disappoint the cobras, but you're mine now. <laughs> All of you, leave us. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is cringe. This time I've got twelve shots. Can you count? That's good. Is that emo? The ex cat. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Draw. Draw. Is this Dark Souls? Come on.
different from simply changing a clip. What is it? There we go. Expecting a side roll, but yeah, it's only what? excellent. Oh. What's that? I've never felt a tension like this before. That's so different from simply changing the clip. Here we go. Bees. Damn it. Found us. Meet again. Huh. I just noticed one of the hornets got stuck on the camera. That's interesting. Okay, can you see anything on stream? For me, it looks like pitch black. Which it should be, but I can't watch this. Yeah, understandable. Animals. No, you can't see anything. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's, it does look kind of dark. Yeah, it's black. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's supposed to be. But I can turn up. If... If I remember how to do that. Is it this? Uh, filter. No, it's not filter. Is it? So if I apply uh, this one, yes, let's try, oh no. Ok, 
Okay, how does that look? <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's still pitch black, I think. Oops. I think I changed the wrong thing. Yeah, it's meant to be pretty much pitch black. Because it's pitch black for me as well, so. It's so that you're not just looking at a black screen. I don't know. Got a flashlight. Mmm. Mina, Mina. Torch. <laughs> ah, have a cigar. Was it? I don't think you can even see much of that, but it, anyway. And we also have this. Got a fuss suit. Okay. See the floor, yeah, that's good enough. Cause that's what I see, so. Uh. Hmm. Mr. Bones is final raid. I see. Please move, I'm about to do something a hazardous. Thank you. Okay. Don't really need my gun out. But I am dying right now. Can I recover health? Very slightly. Just, but we'll see. Oh, hello. It's you. Let me just uh, squeeze past. Poison mushrooms and a radioactive one. It's pretty good. Uh -huh. Nope, nope, not yet. Don't want to leave just yet. Because we have things to see. section down there. Okay.
to worry about it. I'm pretty sure you can see now. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Um, oh, where did I go? On the left, there. Hmm, I'll go have a look. Turn on the radiation filter back on. <laughs> no. See what's over here first. <coughs> hmm. A room full of bats. That's good. Put the brightness up a tiny bit. I don't know. It's still fairly dark. That's okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Well. Let's see how this looks. Prepare your eyes, because I'm going to put on the night vision goggles, so I'm giving you, I don't know, five seconds before I destroy your brain and your retina. Let's go. Okay. It's not too bad for you, it's actually blinding me, but... <laughs> My eyes are closed. <laughs> and how did you type that then? Mm. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. I will believe you. Uh, what's down here? Okay. I 
university education. Teach you to type with your feet. Okay. I have no idea. But I never went to uni, so. <laughs> I missed out on that training. Just saw that. Uh, I'm not gonna reply to that. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, yeah, those bats. I want to shoot them. Snake is hungry, and so am I. It's even over here. Oh, what's that? Snow? Here? In my cave? That's what was over there. Thought it was a dead end. I was wrong. Okay, so what else can we do here? Is that a message? What's this? I guess time for food. I see. That's the wrong way.
Oh. The cap isn't on. Oh well. I'm not really sure what that did. Shouldn't use that. Also, I will feed Snake. I want some more. Well, too bad. He's spitting more than fact. <laughs> spitting bees. Where does that be? Shotgun does a good amount of damage, but almost fast. Okay. Wait, what? 
Oh, I killed something. Please stop. Oh no. Seem to have a hitbox in his head. That's okay. Okay. The B box. You're not wrong. Okay. Shoot either. One bullet left. Wait a minute. Okay. Well, I one second. I need to go grab that before I go. I also need to take a B out of my. Oh no, it's just the buttons. Okay. Ooh. Two thousand and nine YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on, what's this? Mm. 
Did I come up here with oh no. no. of hornets, spiders and leeches and tame hornets <laughs> I forgot that this functions like what? okay I forgot that it functions like an old game with the uh, you know, power ups and stuff like that Now, I need to go grab dinner, because I'm starving. So I'll save this. Saving the game, Snake? Yes. Didn't even know outfits had bonuses. Oh yes. There's a lot of different ones. Hey, Snake. You ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No, what is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. <laughs> it's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. Well, spoiled. It was originally a Japanese movie, <laughs> but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Go to Japan for it. <laughs> wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America too. Mm. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Mm -hmm. Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. Okay, cool. When the going gets tough, mm. movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Oh. That's that. Oh. That was a good almost four hours. And we are... what? We've killed one boss. Well, technically two. But three, actually. If you can lose the ocelot unit at the start. Um, but yeah, that's ocelot unit, ocelot, and the pain. And we can finish the rest of the game uh, another time. I'm not going to give a specific day because things happen. One million if you count the bees. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was a lot of bees. Uh, but Snake should have used magic missile. Or kept Sokolov around for magic missile. With his magic hands that he was doing. Oh. Mm. <sighs> it was a big stretch. Uh, okay, I'll go grab my dinner. And, uh. Oh, oh yeah, I have this. <laughs> and I also have the original Demon Souls installed. 
Um, yeah. I might do those at some point. I don't know about Deadly Premonition because it's... I've already seen it twice. Maybe. Anyway. I'll go grab dinner. And I'll be back next time, whenever that may be. Uh, I've got to click the button now. I know you'll miss me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Bye.